friendlies and welcome back. This is part two of my Demon Hunter video series where I make the headband and attachment points for my Demon Hunter horns. I start off with replacing the headband that the elf ears were sitting on because the new Warbla headband will become the new point of attachment for all the pieces. I made the headband double thickness from Warbla and will eventually add in a third piece with a layer of foam in between for a little extra cushion. The wire that the ears are attached to is fairly easy to bend, so I just straighten it out a little, then wedge it between the warbler. I add some extra warbler to reinforce where the wire sits. Now I need to add an attachment point so the new headband will stay securely on my head. I used a parachute buckle and some elastic to do so, securing it all firmly with more warbler. With the elastic, I just stretched it gently along the back of my head to measure, then sewed it in place. Next, in front of the mirror, I'm just checking the placement of everything and marking the angle I want my horns to sit at. This will help later when we start putting in the screws. Speaking of screws, that is the next step. I made a mistake with the thread crown on the screws, which is why I have to take one set out and add new screws, but if you heat up the warbler a little, it is really easy to push screws into it. Use a washer before putting in the screw for even pressure distribution. Secure everything in place with more warbler. Next, take coupling nuts that match the screws and make mounds over them with warbler. This step is pretty easy. Just make sure the warbler mountain isn't bigger than the width and height of the horn base. And be patient with the warbler so you don't burn the tips of your fingers with melty hot plastic. Eventually, we will hollow out a spot in the base of the horn where the warbler mound will fit in and it will secure with magnets, but that will come next video. Here is a shot of how the mounds screw on and how secure they are. This will allow me to be able to change wigs with the cosplay if I want to, instead of building it all into the wig. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part 3 of this build. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye bye!